right, that's enough of that. <laughs> Try not to go past the 15 second marker without getting copyrighted. But I just wanted to do that because I wanted to show you guys how excited I was and that I watched the Caped Crusader movie, Batman. It was awesome. Batman enjoyed it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is not uh, Adam West Batman, but this is the animated series Batman. But I love this Batman. But we're not here to talk about that. We're to talk about here to talk about the Adam West Batman. And let me say that this movie was pretty good. It was pretty good. I enjoyed it. I thought it was very entertaining. I thought it brought a lot of nostalgia back. Um, I liked how they brought back old characters like Adam West. They brought back people who did Robin. They brought back, brought back some of them. I think some of them were kind of... Uh, new players though some of them were old some of them are new so it's got that good mix so it was it was good all overall uh i thought that there were things in the movie that were funny very funny and over dramatic and over the top with what they sh with what it, what it used to be back in the day uh, but there were some things that i thought were kind of Kind of, I don't know, kind of just, they, there were things in the movie that I thought were kind of weird. I thought that there were moments where, where I just did not understand and didn't feel comfortable. Like, like there were moments where I was like, okay, Batman, I feel like should be a little bit more witty or Robin should be a little bit more. He should talk more and have those catchphrases more. He had that. Now, all these characters had those moments, but I feel like there wasn't enough like it was as if you watched the old TV series, which I'm going to say this right now. This movie did not 100% make me re relive what I saw from the old TV show, especially the old movie. The old movie, you know, you know the joke where it's like, some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. <laughs> that was a good movie. But, yeah... That movie was better than this one, but it doesn't mean that this is going to have, I'm going to let that affect this movie, because there were things in this movie that I liked, and like I said, there were things in this movie that I didn't like. Let's see. So, yes, there are going to be some spoilers. I should put spoilers down there, so I'll let you know that there are spoilers. So, I guess one thing I didn't like was when Batman became a bad guy, I guess. Because I thought it kind of took away... Because they never did this before in the 60s, I think. They never did this before where, okay, let's have Batman the bad guy. And let's have Robin try to fight him. And stuff like that. It just didn't work for me. It just... Something about it didn't work. It just didn't work. So, you know, I... Eh, I don't know. It. I felt like that... Some things were a little bit... They went too... They tried to do... Fre uh, what was his name? They tried to do Frank Miller's Batman a little bit too much. There were quotes in that movie from this... Like, the one that I saw the most was... Was when he said... This is... This is the... This is the... This is the... Medical table. And I'm the surgeon. Like, something like that. And I was like, oh my gosh, they're trying to do Dark Knight Returns with this guy. I'm like, no, no, don't do that. But then I get, and then he, he like, he's like to his butler, you know, you're done, get out of here, you're fired, but this and that. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm sitting there, sitting, I'm sitting there saying, what the fuck? And I was so surprised to see at the end that it was all part of the same serum that Catwoman scraped him with. I was like, what? No. No, 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 no. It felt too cliche, and it felt too... I don't know. It, it, it just... This was not like the TV show. This is not like the... They tried to do something... They tried to take new stuff... I don't understand why I'm hard to explain things these days. Even at school, like, I can't explain shit. What I'm trying to say is, Batman, he doesn't, he acts 
there are moments where he acts like the Dark Knight Batman. You know, the Dark Knight Returns. I'm sitting like, I'm like, no, this is not the Batman I like. I like this Bat, the like Adam West Batman. And they brought elements of, from darker Batmans, and it didn't work for me. It, it just it didn't work. I mean, he got brutal. He got brutal with them. He even, he got, he had a bat knuckles, and then he, like, started pounding the shit out of the villains. Which is okay. I'm just saying, then he was like, he, then he says something like, uh, throw them out of the airlock because they go to space in this movie apparently they go into space and he's like i'm gonna throw them outside in the in the freaking uh you know out in space basically and i gotta say this because this, this is the one thing that i was very confused about why the hell when catwoman was thrown outside into space that she her head did not explode Nothing. She didn't freeze. She didn't have frostbite on her. Nothing. She was just fine when he brought when Batman brought her back in the airlock. That doesn't make sense, and that should have been fixed because that did not work. That was very weird. That did not. There were things in this movie, like I said, that didn't work. It wasn't realistic enough. I understand this is not supposed to be realistic, but still, there it's Batman, so you kind of expect things to be a little bit more realistic. A little bit more grounded and it didn't really do that and then they have like this thing where Batman makes a million copies of himself to take over Gotham City when he's a bad guy and it's like eh, it's 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 it was surprising but at the end of the movie when I think about it it wasn't like all dropping inspiring something new that we've never seen before yeah there were things in the movie that made me be like yeah okay cool that's different that's new that's fresh but there were things in it i was like no you can't do that that's not his character that doesn't work that and then in the end of the movie they say okay it was just he was just drugged he was this and that it was a potion blah 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 it was all that overall I'm going to make this short. I'm not going to make it long. I'm not going to go into super duper details. I just want to say some things that I liked and didn't like. Uh, why is my phone going off? I have like three phones. So it's great. We got a... I should have read that. I didn't read it. I just liked it. Damn it. Alright. Well, Batman enjoyed the movie. I know he enjoyed the movie. Buy my movie, or vengeance will come upon you. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, buy his movie. Like I said, this is a buyer because it's very unique, but at the same time, I feel like that there were things that they were taken from and or stuff we kind of seen before. But overall, it was really good. It brought, it did bring, did, it did its job. It brought back the nostalgia. It, it did its job, right? But overall, it you know wasn't a big delivery, but I still enjoyed the movie enough to give it a solid 9 out of 10. It was a solid 9 out of 10. And, you know, solid 9 out of 10. Solid 9 out of 10. There were things I liked and things I didn't like. There were things I was very confused about. I think that this movie does a good job making you feel like Robin and the other characters in the movie. If you put yourself in the movie, you, you feel like them because you're confused, you don't get what's going on, and then at the end of the movie it does make sense. But I felt like that there were moments where things were taken, things were used to, I don't know, give give more nostalgia to other comic books and movies and it didn't work for me i would prefer it if they just stick with their original material instead of stretching out to their newest ones or the popular ones because that's ultimately what made me be like really we're gonna do a brutal batman and i get it they wanted to show a little bit of brutal batman inside of this uh classy batman but still it just it doesn't work. It just doesn't work. The I mean, for God's sakes, he's got eyebrow brows on his mask. Like, 
that don't work. That's not Batman. I mean, it is Batman. I'm just saying that that's not brutal Batman. Like, the one that we're all used to. Thanks, Ben Affleck. Uh, you guys know how much I give him a hard time. But, you know... Whatever. It, I mean... It is what it is. I mean, it could be worse, honestly. Like I said, that's just me. You don't feel like... Don't feel like you are unsure. Because you got to watch it yourself. Sometimes I'm... Yeah, whatever. You know, it's... It's whatever. It's it's not bad. It's not bad at all. It's really good. I just want to close off the video on a good marker. Well, uh, I'm apparently suck at this, so I'm going to go back. I'm gonna go on Twitch and play something. Batman, you end the video. I'm, I'm done. Man, I'm, I'm done. I'm out of here. I can't talk anymore. Apparently, I can't. Batman, you gotta do it. You gotta close the video off. Give him your theme song.